Welcome to Iceland. This is our first port, Akureyri, Iceland, and we are happy to be here. We're excited because this is our first time in Iceland. Alright guys, so today we are here in Iceland and our ship dock in Akureyri and we're having a tour, it's a self-guided tour so we book it online and our first stop is the Godafoss Waterfall or also known as the Waterfall of the Gods Okay, so we're gonna show you the Godafoss Godafoss Waterfall is known as the Water of the Gods this is one of the most visited places here in Akureyri Island. Its name, that's why it's called the Waterfall of the Gods, because during 1999 or 1000, um, the law maker declared Christianity in Iceland. And then he threw all of his statue, gold statues of Norse gods here in this waterfall. Feel. It feels good that I've been waiting for this. We actually booked our 80 day cruise because of Iceland and we are finally here. Okay, if you are here in Akureyri, Iceland, our advice is to go out of town because Akureyri town is really really small. There is something to see but if you wanna, if you are into nature like like falls like this and mountains just go out of the city there are some um, companies that are offering uh, guy uh, tours private and you can also get in in the in the ship but it's really up to you so this is our second stop and this is another place that you can visit when you're here in uh, Akureyri if your ship is docked in Akureyri, Iceland another place that you can visit is the Lake Mivat Mivat comes from the word flies flies so me and that's why they call it Lake Mivat there's a lot of flies here and yes. here we can also see the pseudo craters because they're not really craters but according to our tour guide the land will like open up and lava flows so this place that we're standing or we're walking we're filled with lava before up to the lake Niva. yes and our tour guide said it's like a fake lava because there's no volcano in this area but there's a lava so it's quite interesting, huh? So we are still in Lake Mivat and the pseudo, I just want to show you what's the pseudo crater. So it looks like a crater, but it's not a crater of a volcano. And we, this is the rock formation here that happened of course, or before when the soil cracked and the lava came out, which filled out the lake and also some rock formation. third stop here in our tour in Akureyri, Iceland and we are now here at Demo Borgir or the Lava City. Lava City has the lava uh, formation or different unique rock formation and here you can see also some caves and they have five hiking trails that you can choose from and it's color coded so there's a guide that you may choose we're doing the yellow one because which is the shorter one yes and as you can see it's like a lot of lava it's it's like a big rock but it says like a lava 
So we're actually walking in the lava. When you are here in the Muburger, or the Lava City, make sure you follow the yellow path and then you will hit this arch, which is a good picturesque. Okay, we're now here at the, our four stops. Four stops here in Namaskar, Iceland. So we are now walking to the mud pads. What do you call this again? Huh? What do you call this area again? Namaskar. Namaskar. So the smell of the sulfur is like smell of the septic tank. Like a rotten egg. Rotten egg. As you can see, we in in this location, um, you get to see and take a closer look to those. Um, Mud pads. Mud pads. Just be careful because um, some of it is really, really hot. So stay on the trail. One of the places that you have to visit here in Akarayuri is the Namaskar. This is the geothermal area with mud pads, and the water is around more one, more than 200 degrees Celsius. Then you will see steam all over the place, so be careful when you come here and walk. Make sure you stay on the path. Oh, what a smell! A smell sulfur. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> you can see the water boiling. So these are the mud pots. Like pots and then you know holes with water. Natural, <laughs> natural steam. <laughs> natural part. Natural steam. Yes. Oh my gosh. We are in Jabardin and it's a natural bath and the water is warm. You can smell a little bit of sulfur but it's tolerable and you can see because it's cold and you'll see the smoke. So if you're here in Akureyri, make sure you uh, you visit this um, this place. Mm -hmm. The if you get if you get the excursion from the cruise it might be included already but if you're actually going here by yourself the price of the um, the tickets is like five thousand six hundred yeah it's like around five thousand six hundred so it's more or less like fifty dollars yeah. so. and then they will ask you if you want to rent a towel yep and the locker is already included yes so and it's separate Male and female locker. Yes, and also there's a bar in the area that you can also prepaid purchase if you want to do that as well. So you can smell the soup for a little bit. And if you, you know, Iceland is popular for Blue Lagoon, but this one is way cheaper, it's half the price of the Blue Lagoon. And I can feel my skin so sweat already. <laughs> 